Hagar and Ishmael went on their way. They were in the desert. They began to use all their water and eat all their bread. They had run out like the prodigal son. They had run out. Amen. They drunk all their water in the middle of a barren desert. There was no water to be found, Jeremy. Amen. There wasn't any on this land that they could see. Hagar, loving her son, I took Ishmael. Amen. She, he must have been weary and worn down, a teenage boy, but she laid him over and she went about a bow shot away and the child was crying and Hagar was crying and the Bible said the Lord heard the child and the angel of the Lord spoke to her out of heaven and he told her that God had heard the child's cry and he was going to make him a great nation and she opened up her eyes and right in the middle of the desert a sprung up a well amen and she went and filled the bottle up and gave her son drink I'd like to tell you tonight there's a well that sprung up and his name is Jesus Christ he said if you drink of this water you'll never thirst again hallelujah well I feel God in this place tonight amen I don't know about you but I'm drinking a little amen I'm drinking of this well hallelujah a lot of people out on a Saturday night amen drinking what they shouldn't but I'm drinking of God's well tonight hallelujah hallelujah Jesus told Martha, he said, if a man believe in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Hallelujah. There's a well, friend, we can draw from tonight. There's a well for the drunkard. There's a well for the lonely. There's a well for the brokenhearted. You've tried counseling. You've tried everything else. Why don't you try the well tonight? Amen. You've tried this and tried to work it out on your own, but you just made matters worse. Oh, why don't you try the well tonight? She went back to the town, and she told them, and the Bible said because of her words, that many come to where he was. And when they heard him speak, they wanted him to stay, and he stayed two days with them. Listen, tonight there's a well, and it's still flowing. It never runs dry. This well will never run dry. It's a place we're going to have to drink from if we're going to make it into heaven. Friend, there's coming a day, amen, and it won't be long according to the signs of the times. I tell them all the time, you don't have to be a Bible scholar uh, to look around and see uh, that the signs of the times are pointing uh, to the coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said in the last days there'd be wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes and divers places. Amen. Famine and pestilence. Have you ever seen a time like the time we're living in uh, where there's more storms in the land, uh, where there's problems in the land, where there's disease in the land? A uh, friend, there's a healing. Uh, they're trying to make antidotes for cancer. They're trying to make antidotes for AIDS. Uh, they're trying to make for everything. And there's one answer tonight, and it's in the well. You hear me? It's in the well. And if they would drink of this well and humble themselves, God would give them the glory. God would give them the glory. This well is flowing for everybody. You hear me tonight? It don't matter where you've been or what you've done. Hey, man, this well is flowing for you. You may be watching from the prison tonight. You may be watching from the county jail. You feel like your family's forsaken you. You feel like your loved ones have forsaken you. But there's one tonight that loves you. There's one tonight that said, I'll come and drink of this well, and I'll give you life. Hallelujah. You may be in the hospital tonight. Amen. There's a well for you to drink from that can bring you up out of that bed. Amen. I know the power of God is real, 
I've seen him work too many times. There's a well tonight, church. There's a well that we can drink from.